Hey, how's it going? It's Tyler Casey. Today I'm going to be going over two different ways to do cinematic bars. So check them out. Alright, so we're going to start off with our clip right here. We're going to start off with the original cinematic bar. So we're just going to come into effects. We're going to type in crop. We're going to double tap that since our clip is selected. All right, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in 13 on top and 13 on bottom. And as simple as that, you have cinematic bars. Well, let's say you want white cinematic bars. All you have to do is grab a 4K white image or the size of your aspect ratio. You can drag that. If you got an image off Google and you don't see the white, uh, just right click and click scale to frame size. Look at that, we got white cinematic bars. The second thing I like to do is underlay footage under this. You could get stock footage, you could get stock footage of fire, you could get stock footage of birds, whatever really fits your story. It's kind of a creative effect. It's not super cinematic, but I'm gonna grab this footage of water. I did this effect in the video, See Me. So I'll link that at the end if you guys wanna see a prime example of this effect. So basically you see right there, I have water under my actual clip. So it's like cinematic bars, but it's also a video as well. So you could still add effects under this to make it more interesting. Like I could come over here, I could type in HLS. We'll drag that on there and then we could play the clip and we could keyframe and we could have it rotate hues. So let's watch that. So we're cycling through hues as our shot goes on. So those are the three ways you can kind of modify cinematic bars. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.